Hello, we're back for the following and ending of this project about the Pass Manager. Um, it might be a little long though, so I was thinking of maybe either breaking those into multiple videos or maybe just skipping through a few steps that are redundant or not very useful. So let's go with the basics and most important stuff in here, uh, taking into account that you have seen the video about how to create those um, layers and pop-up frames for your app. Um, I have here the app handle, that I'm, which is my, uh, my GUI that I'm, we're going to code right now. And just to be sure, I kept my database handle here that is going to be all the functions we can use in the law app that we're going through. I might not go back to that too much though. Okay, so what we're going to do first is obviously import tkinter as tk. Um, also, we're going to need to import from tkinter uh, font as a tk font because it's a convention I picked on. Same thing. We're going to import message box because we're going to use that. And um, I created a um, init method in my uh, database, so you can see it here. So you've got an init which is uh, a way to make uh, the, this whole thing a package so that now we can be importing a database exercise dot db handle so file dot um, so directory dot file sorry and we're going to import it as db then what I like to do is to create the main variables of my projects so we're going to go with link which is going to be my db dot database object uh, imported from my other file um, doesn't really matter that this isn't in the later class objects because I just consider that if you have a database object that is uh, in the good directory then it should be this apps uh, directory. Uh, then my app color I'm choosing to put them um, in capital letters so that we are sure uh, that it will always um, be easy to update if we want to. Uh, this is the color I went with. Uh, it should be kind of a purplish color, I don't know. Like you could go with anything more bland. Then we're gonna go with app alternative color, uh, which is gonna, going to be a BB8 CE, if I remember correctly, okay. Then the label font is going to be Courrier 10 and button, sorry, button font is going to be the same, uh, but I want to have the liberty to change them whether or not I like them later on. Um, so let's go with our first class, which is going to be our sample app. Um, I like to call. So this is going to be just a basic uh, object we want to have. So class uh, sample app, and it's going to be a tk dot tk object. Not bad. Here. And what are we going to do here? We're going to define init. And we're going to take args and obviously quags, as we know. And here we're going to set up a few basic uh, variables, like the, the title uh, font that I want to use, uh, create the container, like everything we saw uh, in our system uh, the last time. So let's go with the title font which is going to be a tk font dot font, capital F, I always miss that one. So family is going to be equal to Verdana, size 
to 14 weight capital W no <laughs> it's gonna be bold and slant italic okay um, let's make that a little clearer yeah, I like it better this way then we're gonna create our container which is gonna be tk dot frame capital F in self then container dot pack and here we're gonna pack it with a side equal to top and fill equal to both then we're gonna expand equal true okay Uh, this is for memory what is going to make our object uh, expand in all directions and then fill uh, stay filled with uh, all the other frames later on um, so let's place that on our grid now so container dot grid and we're going to row configure zero weight for one and we're gonna do the same thing for our colon configure the R it's gonna be okay yeah. and same thing zero weight equal one if uh, weight is uh, above one above zero uh, it makes your frame have a repartition that is going to be the same on every direction and it's going to try and fill out all the uh, the space it, it got so that what the way it's doing as always the documentation is your friend if you need real details on those things so let's go with a string var we've seen that already uh, to create a variable in tkinter then I'm going to create frames, my dictionary, which is empty, and 4f in my. So here is the part where we want to create the, uh, the different pages that we want to go with later on. And this is when I'm going to name them. So uh, take care about the, the way they are written. So login page, start page new entry check entry and edit page I shouldn't need more than that so what are we going to do now so page name is going to be equal to f dot underscore underscore name underscore underscore then my frame is going to be equal to f of parent equal container and controller equal to self and now I can go and create my frames of the page name equal to frame and simply go frame dot grid uh, row is going to be equal to zero colon to zero two and sticky to NSEW that we've seen earlier too so yeah this is ready now and we can go ahead of ourselves and just call show frame for the logging page which is the first one we're going to be coding for various reasons that we're going to go through um, so that when this is done with you have the logging page that is ready to go and now we're going to code the show frame function which is self and it's going to take the argument page name and this is going to go like frame equals self uh, frames of page name and then frame dot ticket raise we've seen that already okay and this is basically what we need in this 
uh, sample app class okay nothing crazier than that we just like go with the basic uh, creation of the different layers and then we're we're good with it um, let's then just pre-create like in advance a few classes that we're gonna need so obviously we're gonna do our class uh, logging page which is going to be a tk dot frame we're going to create um, like the start page which is also going to be a tk frame object okay then we're going to create our a new entry page check entry I like to do that because at least you know where you're going you you can go back and forth with those various stuff so it's way more organized and it proves that you've been working on the structure of your uh, application and or project beforehand okay uh, we could put a few details into those um, those things so let's go with a little um, so log in plus what we're gonna do is take the ID of the account um, for the database so we need to put that in the variable okay uh, we'll we'll see why later on and uh, obviously you could you should be able to create an account login uh, and have an error message if wrong info just as basic as that I guess okay uh, so what do we want to do with this so our login page is supposed to have just basically two labels one just to you know, give away the uh, entry box that is going to be your ID another label to tell you that this is the password um, entry box and the, then those two entry boxes I guess an entry button and a label to display any kind of message okay and here we are so I decided to make a cut here uh, just like review this bit and I'll keep on going in the next video so that we can focus on the logging page which is quite a bit uh, like maybe the other pages might not be as long so we'll see how that goes so see you in the next one. Keep on coding.